do agree. Let me just talk. Let me just talk briefly on this. We talked about. We've seen what's, what's been happening in, in Africa. Um, April 28, 2021, in Chad, in Mali, May 24th, Guinea, September 5th, Sudan, October 25th, Burkina Faso, <laughs> September 30th, Niger, just two, three months ago, July 26th, Gabon, August 30th. Obviously, what's, the, what's going on in all these seven countries is the recent coups. What do you think is happening? Why now? In the, last, in the past two, two years plus, seven coups already in... It's just the way eight. the whole of Africa became democratic in less than 18 months, in 1999. Yeah. It's just the way all of Africa became suddenly independent between 1960 and 1962. Uh, 1963, sorry. Mm. You know? Because... The people that supply the arms that make these things happen are deciding to go to a new phase yeah. and they need certain kind of ways the system should be to assist the new phase. You know, uh, America is the bastion of neocolonialism and I don't want to point fingers or say anything. I've said enough about it in my life already. I don't want to go back. Yeah. But if you look, Shah, the one country that is not criticizing any of these schools is the United States. You know, who Even though they criticize the Niger, Niger own seriously though, they didn't criticize the Gabon, the Gabonese zone. Niger? Yeah, America Niger. is the only country that did not close the embassy in Niger. No, but they criticized, you know, this guy, this woman, Victoria Newland. No, she uh, came to, uh, to, to yeah, is it Niger? Yeah, she came to Niger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. And asked them to return democracy. Uh, re- ask them. Democracy, yeah. 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 <laughs> but America has a military base there. Yeah, of course. Their yeah. embassy it's did not close down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. The biggest drone base out of yeah, the United yeah, States yeah. is here in uh, Niger. Yeah, so. Yeah. For me, I see this as neocolonial steps. Yeah, yeah. You know, where we the people, we the professionals of Nigeria, we the educated, we have failed our people. Mm. And they continue to distract us to think that we are moving forward while failing our people. So that they can always bring those boys that they have trained to come and do our job for us. So when we, now instead of us to be ashamed that the military is coming back in Africa, we are claiming that it's the military that we need. A group that runs without constitution, that lo- runs with decree, that we need tyranny and dictatorship. You know, when you have been programmed in your brain that you are subhuman and you believe it, you truly believe that you need somebody to come and beat sense into you. Yeah, yeah. You understand? The way they were flogging the slaves in the plantation to pick cotton faster. You know, if you don't whip Africans, they don't learn. They are monkeys. They are animals. So in the missionary schools all over Africa, training your first doctors, your first lawyers, your first professors, your first clerks in the... That's what they flog them. So they say, that's how you learn. Africans need hard hand. Africans need strong hand. With strong man leadership. That's the excuse they gave from 1960 to 1999. We've done 23 years again now. We, we need strong hand again. Because Why? Because people like me, people like you, they can see that young Africans, as much as they are investing in our distraction, we are seeing the light. So how do you stop people like me, people like you, from now getting to power, really? Because we are going to get there. Yes. They don't have the numbers to stop these great ideas coming out of Africa today Wonderful. from young Africans, from uh, young African politicians who wow. are seeing a different narrative than the West has been sending to us all this time. How did they stop you? By putting military there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, but the, the way I see it is, and I, I hope you're right, and I hope people, people in these countries, I, do, I hope they don't make the mistake of thinking or believing that by having the military, suddenly change will come. Don't, they will learn. <laughs> but for me, that's, that's, that, that's, that's just wrong, and that's just irony. No, I, me, I think that uh, because we have betrayed our ancestors mm. in this generation, we must, maybe we have to pay, pay, pay for it. But what people sacrifice for us to have these freedoms and what we are doing with it is such a shame. Yes. Lives that have been destroyed, nameless millions of Africans that have died standing up so that we can be where we are today. And then we go ahead, neither of us. There's no single street in Nigeria, in Lagos, called Lumumba Street, no Nkrumah Street, no Amica Cabra, nothing, no monuments, nothing. We have Jesus, we have. We rather praise Bill Gates. We have Bill Gates drive in uh, Abuja. I mean, this senselessness that we, that we, I mean, Bill Clinton drive. Oh, my. Anyway. <laughs> we have failed our purpose. Not we, Sha. The gener- no, no, two no. generations before us have failed their purpose, definitely. But we are also on that path. 
But as Franz Fanon said, every generation has to identify. You know, each generation has uh, 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 a purpose. Yes. And every, each generation must identify that purpose and either choose to accept or betray it. Yeah. You know, and I think that we in general have chosen unhappily to betray what we all know we should be doing. Telling ourselves lies like, oh, it is stupid to do that. That you stupid, uh, you go so far. You, go, you know, all those kind of excuses we give. Cowardly excuses to betray our true purpose here. You know, just so that we can drink expensive alcohol when we like, fly to European countries when we like, buy European things. When we like. If we're doing for something, like if we're betraying ourselves for something, for some noble, something, yeah. maybe we found something, a higher calling. Yeah. I will understand. But we betray ourselves. We spit in our opportunity to be great just so that we can drink and do some senseless things all day. I don't get it.